Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of This Charming Girl, a Korean movie from 2004. So after an entire month of watching horror movies, I was in the mood for an old school, high quality drama film. And This Charming Girl is a movie I've been wanting to review for a while. And as it turns out, it is currently available on physical media. So I'm taking the opportunity to review it. Now this film is a very good representation of Korean movies from the 2000s. Of course, we got a bunch of like higher profile titles that people online talk about even today. But Korea did produce a ton of movies that were of comparable quality, yet did not make much of a splash internationally. And whenever I can find them nowadays to re-watch, I try to cover them on this channel. And a few examples would be stuff like One Fine Spring Day, A Brand New Life, When I Turn Nine, Take Care of My Cat, Magicians, etc. And This Charming Girl falls nicely into that category or classification of Korean films that uh, needs more attention. So the plot here is fairly simple on its surface. You know, we have uh, a woman in her mid-twenties. She's a postal worker who lives in a mono uh, monotonous daily routine. So she, uh, you know, does stuff, a uh, very habitual way of living. And when she takes in a stray cat one day, she remembers things about her mother. And when an aspiring uh, writer expresses his interest in her, her unexplained peacefulness is shaken. So the film opens with our protagonist basically spraying and cleaning her plants in her home. She tidies up her apartment. Like I said, very habitual lifestyle. And one of her friends even mentions this uh, right to her face. Uh, you know, she goes to the same restaurants all the time, stuff like that. Very passive with her interactions with people as well, but she starts to become more critical of other people as the film moves along. And she eventually meets up with her ex-boyfriend at one point, and it's kind of a, an awkward interaction, conversation with him, you know, referencing their breakup. And we eventually do see flashbacks of their interaction while they were dating, which adds a little bit of color as to why she left him. And there's one particular line of dialogue It seems kind of harmless at first when you watch it, but later in the film we realize its significance. And that's kind of the heart of this charming girl. It's deceptively powerful in a dramatic sense. And while re-watching this uh, just the other day, I started to question why I enjoyed the movie so much when I first saw it like 15 years ago. You know, because the opening half hour is like very quiet, you know, kind of uneventful, maybe even a little bit plain and not all that interesting. But then it becomes more and more engaging by the midpoint. And there's like a real quiet intensity to the story. And that really comes through at times. Uh, some of the less significant moments early on become more significant looking back on them. When you understand like the context of some of the conversations that are fleshed out you know, later on. There's one scene that's kind of like the perfect example of what I'm talking about. And I would have to say the most memorable scene in the movie consists of two people sitting on a bench together in the middle of a park. And if you've ever seen the movie, you know what scene I'm talking about, because it's pretty unforgettable. Uh, very good stuff. And, you know, despite the fact that very little happens in the scene itself, it's really impactful. And only like a well-crafted movie can really pull something like that off. And that's exactly what this movie is. It's just really well made, and it, the intensity kind of sneaks up on you. Uh, the lead actress here is Kim Ji Soo, who is pretty great in this role, but has not been in that many high-profile movies at all over the years. Uh, you may not even recognize her from anything else. Uh, but this is a pretty fantastic introduction to her acting ability. Uh, actor Huang Jung Min has an extended cameo, but his screen time is very limited, so don't watch the film just because he's in it. And then actress Kim Ko Bi also has a very small appearance, which is, uh, she makes an impact for certain uh, in that scene. Our director here is Lee Yung Ki, who has a small but impressive filmography with My Dear Enemy and Ad Lib Night uh, being two other highlights from the 2000s. And this film kind of, uh, again, it's uh, uh, categorized very nicely with films like that. 
So if you're in the mood for like a small or a uh, a deliberately paced but deceptively intense drama, I definitely recommend This Charming Girl. Back in the day, this movie made quite a splash uh, in in uh, in Korea, especially. And then some of the people who were like following like the art house circle stuff uh, in the U.S. kind of picked up on it. And uh, yeah, check this one out. It's currently available on Region Three DVD. And as always, we will see you next time.